Welcome to the Industoff Web Studio Dream Report Supplemental Videos Part 1. My name is Richard Clark and I developed the tutorial manual for Dream Report OEM for Indisoft. In this first video, we are going to cover an overview of the Dream Report OEM software for Indisoft, what it is, what it does, how it works, and how it may benefit you. This series of videos will pretty much follow the Dream Report tutorial manual, so you may want to have it open for reference. If you have a question about something that I demonstrate in any of the videos, it will be covered in the tutorial manual and you can also stop and rewind the video as needed in order to go over a topic again. As an Intisoft Web Studio user, you probably already know that there are some reporting capabilities built into Intisoft. This slide shows some typical reports that you can generate within your Web Studio project. Simpler reports and file types are all generated off a text or .csv report worksheet containing the tags needed to provide the information for the various reports. They have limitations on how they can be formatted even though they can be output in a variety of different manners. Note that the most sophisticated reports are the ones using HTML and XML. The finished reports can be named in the report worksheet as the output report name .html and .xml respectively. Having said that, however, the markup languages do require a strong background in HTML and XML in order to create change and troubleshoot any sophisticated reports and they are not for beginners. Therefore, these types of reports created within the Indisoft environment cannot be modified very easily without some in-depth programming experience or an, or an on-site developer along with the required uh, development time to change them. That's where Dream Report comes in. What is Dream Report? This slide shows the product overview page for the help documentation for Dream Report. This document pretty much describes what Dream Report is, but the easiest way is to show you some of the capabilities of the product and how it interfaces with your Web Studio project. This video series and the tutorial manual are not designed to be definitive resources for Dream Report. However, there are some pre-built sample reports and a tutorial on how to create your first dream report covered in the upcoming videos. Within a day or two, you should be able to master all the dream report basics. There are sophisticated capabilities within dream report that are outside the scope of this tutorial guide and the supplemental videos. The dream report product has, has great help document uh, accessible from within the development environment and I'll show you that uh, in, uh, uh, once the product is installed. Also, uh, Ocean Data Systems has in-depth training for the product as well. If you meet, need more training than what uh, is in the product um, and what we offer uh, in the tutorial medium, media, uh, please contact uh, Ocean Data Systems for more information. What is Dream Report? Basically, Dream Report is an is a, uh, OEM is an available from Indisoft, and you can download uh, it from our website uh, or get the Dream Report installation CD from us as well. Dream Report will run in a demo mode. You don't have to license it. That is, uh, into, uh, until it is licensed through Ocean Data Systems by Indisoft. Okay, uh, the Dream Report OEM version is specifically configured and licensed to be exclusively used with Indisoft Web Studio only. In other words, there aren't any other drivers in the OEM version except what are needed for IWS connectivity. Further information about purchasing and licensing the Dream Report OEM software uh, is available uh, on our web page, uh, which is on the Indisoft website. Uh, the Dream Report web page can be accessed under the uh, product's title. Information about licensing uh, the full Dream Report product uh, for use with other drivers and platforms is available through ODS 
uh, and I'll show you their um, contact information in a moment. The license can be upgraded also uh, at any time through ODS and there's the contact information I was speaking about. That's the email address and their website for, uh, for Dream Report. Uh, at the back of the tutorial manual is this document right here. This tells you how to license uh, the software, the OEM software, if you decide to purchase it. And uh, basically uh, just follow the directions that are on here. Uh, and I'll also demonstrate putting a license in later in uh, one of the tutorial videos. <clears throat> so uh, here is some information on how the demo mode operation works. Uh, it'll run in demo mode without a license under the following conditions. Uh, it can have up to 25 items in the report itself. Uh, and the runtime engine will operate for two hours at a time. Uh, before a restart or computer reboot is required. Uh, note that the uh, IWS runtime server, uh, that's your project, uh, will also be disconnected uh, if you're using it in the demo mode and uh, will require a uh, shutdown and restart before Dream Report can reconnect to it. So in other words, you uh, need to basically reboot the computer restart uh, your Indusoft project and then you can uh, run for two more hours in Dream Report. <clears throat> uh, every report page will be ge uh, that's generated will be tattooed um, at the top with this, uh, this uh, statement here uh, in red. Uh, so that uh, they will not allow you to use uh, the reports during any production time. <clears throat> so these are the three demo mode uh, restrictions that are on, on, on the software. Otherwise, it's fully functional. Uh, you can build any reports you want to uh, in the demo mode, and um, you're basically good to go. So how does it work? Uh, if we look at um, our Indusoft Web Studio project uh, and start it up, we find that it is connected to, in this particular case, a SQL Server database. Uh, there are several databases that can be used, external databases that is, uh, that can be used with Indusoft Web Studio and Dream Report. Uh, additionally, at this time, uh, you cannot use the proprietary database in uh, Indusoft. You can only use an external database. For this tutorial and demo, we have chosen a Microsoft SQL Server uh, 2008 R2. Uh, 2012 also works, and you can use just plain uh, 2008 uh, SQL Server. So, as you would expect, the um, project uh, sends its historical trends to tables uh, on the server. You can uh, query uh, the, for the data uh, using the um, uh, client tools uh, built into SQL Server. Uh, Dream Report also reads the database through a driver that it has built in uh, and gets uh, from the database alarms, events, and trends. A uh, dream report can also uh, read real-time data from tags uh, that are in the project <clears throat> and print them out in a report uh, at the time that they were um, that they were uh, read. Now, Now, as I mentioned, there were several drivers that are built into Dream Report, and here's a, a um, graphic representation of what they are. Uh, there's one native driver that gets real-time values from the project, and then there are three other drivers that get historical tag values and uh, alarms and trends uh, out of the database. In order to see the reports, 
uh, after you've created them, the compiled report output is then sent to a runtime module that has a, an on-screen interface uh, that allows you to set report parameters like beginning and ending times, all that sort of stuff if you want to dynamically, uh, or you can build them into the report if you need to. Um, and uh, the report can be output in a variety of formats, uh, PDF, um, spreadsheets, etc. <clears throat> Additionally, uh, reports are available uh, over a web interface uh, using Microsoft um, Internet Information uh, Server, and uh, there is a Dream Report web portal that uh, can be accessed via uh, an IE on another machine. <clears throat> In this web portal, it basically has all the functionality of the Dream Report Runtime Management Studio uh, built into it, and uh, it can also output reports that have been made uh, in the Dream Report Studio uh, as a web page or a PDF, uh, etc. So uh, you can also update reports there or change some parameters and that sort of thing. Um, however, it does not allow you to design the uh, web reports. That has to be done in Dream Report Studio and then recompiled. So before you start uh, your first project, you should be familiar with Indusoft Web Studio and you should have at least developed one successful project. The reason for this is the um, application that uh, we are going to use in this uh, tutorial uh, to generate data um, will need to be looked at and modified and you should be familiar with uh, Indusoft Web Studio before you start. Additionally, uh, these are the system requirements uh, for um, Dream Report uh, that I pulled out of the help documentation. And um, you can see here that uh, there are they require a certain uh, size machine. Uh, this won't of this won't run on a CE machine or an embedded machine. Uh, it must uh, probably, in your runtime configuration, you probably will have a dedicated machine as a server for as your report server uh, because um, uh, you'll want to do your development and, um, and runtime <clears throat> on uh, that particular machine. So, uh, in the upcoming videos, uh, I'll show you uh, how to install a Dream Report. First of all, we need to set up a machine with specific prerequisites on it, and uh, we'll go through all those things. Then, uh, after the software is installed, uh, we will um, build a report uh, from the ground up. I'll show you how to do that. And then finally, uh, there are some canned reports that you can uh, download in the, in the zip file along with uh, Indusoft, I'm sorry, uh, Dream Report um, on the Indusoft website. And um, they, uh, you've already seen the sample reports. They're sort of there in the background. I'll show them to you again uh, in, a, in a few moments. Uh, and um, there's also the uh, sample report that we're going to build. It's already built for you if you want to just skip ahead and look at that report. Um, you can do that as well. So uh, the, the prerequisites to installing running Dream Report uh, basically are uh, we are going to log on to the machine as user administrator. Now this is an important step because if you're logged on as anyone else, uh, even if they have administrator rights, will not be able to uh, create the drivers that you need um, to connect to the database. You must be logged on as the machine user administrator. Uh, you can also be logged on as the network user administrator as well. However, uh, you must be logged on as administrator. Uh, we're going to set the UAC to don't notify. Um, we're going to install IIS. 
uh, we're going to just uh, we're we're going to talk about installing default printer. We're not going to do it, uh, but you can install one if you want to. Uh, you can uh, will install uh, the Microsoft Office components. Uh, in this particular case, the machine we're going to use already has Office installed on it. Uh, you might want to install it on yours. It's up to you. Uh, if you want to use uh, Excel, for instance, to look at uh, some of the XLS reports, uh, or you can use OpenOffice um, as well. Uh, anything that will look at an XLS um, report is usable. <clears throat> anyway, you do it in this particular step. Next, we'll install Adobe Reader uh, 10 or 11. Uh, that's so we can look at the reports that are created in the PDF format. And then, uh, following that, we'll install Microsoft SQL Server Express, either 2008 uh, or 2012. You can get it from these links here if you don't know, uh, didn't know what they were. Uh, then we're going to create project databases for both the uh, project in Indusoft that uh, uses, um, it's basically the PC demo project. Uh, that is included with Indusoft, but it's been modified to provide data for the, uh, the reports we're going to create. And then also to get real-time data, uh, we uh, also have uh, to create a table or a, a database for Dream Report called Dream Report Logging. And it will create the tables it needs in there. Next, uh, we'll download and install IWS. Uh, which you're probably familiar with already. And we're going to open the application I mentioned, um, the PC demo mod dot app. Uh, it is uh, in the, dot, in the uh, zip file that is on the um, Indusoft um, Dream Report website. Uh, there, once you download uh, Dream Report, uh, the, um, the uh, projects are in a separate zip file. Be sure to download load those as well. And uh, this application is the data generator, as I mentioned. Uh, and uh, you can create your own sample reports later uh, that use this data as well. Next, uh, we'll install and configure Dream Report. Uh, and it's available, uh, as I mentioned, from the website. On the, on the Indusoft website, uh, the Dream Report page. And we're going to create a new example report uh, as a training exercise, or as an alternative, you can download this. It's also in the zip file with the projects. Uh, and um, this uh, report we're going to build is already built for you, as I said, under the name IWST, uh, sorry, IWS Test Project 1. And uh, we're, we, you can also download uh, the, when you open the zip file, that is, uh, the uh, DR uh, IWS sample reports. This is the sample reports that you see in the background uh, on the watermark on this, uh, on this page. So this is the end of our first video, our overview video. Uh, the upcoming videos will uh, will have more information in them. As I said, keep your, uh, your uh, tutorial manual handy. Uh, we're going to follow the steps that are in there uh, exactly as they are written, and you can always refer back to them at any time you need to.